Which image best shows air trapping? The right-hand image shows the expiratory view. The left-hand image shows inspiratory. On expiratory view, we see absence of increased attenuation and lack of volume reduction in certain parenchymal areas of the lung. Thus, the answer is expiratory. Air trapping is defined as the retention of air in the lung distal to an obstruction, usually partial, and it's seen on the expiratory view. Air trapping is seen on end expiration CT scans as parenchymal areas with less than normal increase in attenuation and lack of volume reduction. Comparison between inspiratory and expiratory scans can be helpful when air trapping is subtle or diffuse. Differentiation from areas of decreased attenuation resulting from hypoperfusion as a consequence of an occlusive vascular disorder, such as chronic thromboembolism, may be problematic, but other findings of airways versus vascular disease are usually present. On inspiration, the normal lung is homogeneously lucent. Mosaic attenuation is abnormal and defined as a patchwork of regions of different attenuation. On expiratory view, normal lung should demonstrate increased attenuation. The pathology of air trapping is sharply defined geographic foci of lower attenuation, which follows the outline of the secondary pulmonary lobule and affects more than 25% of lung volume. It is not limited to lower lobe superior segments or lingular tip. On the right, we see a composite image of a patient with constrictive bronchiolitis, an inspiration at the top and expiration at the bottom. The expiration image shows areas of air trapping that manifest as geographic areas of hyperlucent lung. Lobular air trapping less than three adjacent lobules is considered normal. In terms of the top differential diagnosis, consider mosaic attenuation, which is a term used for both small airways disease from air trapping or vascular entities such as chronic thromboembolic disease or pulmonary hypertension. Again, mosaic attenuation pattern can refer to patchy interstitial disease, obliterative small airways disease, or occlusive vascular disease. Air trapping has many etiologies. First is constrictive bronchiolitis, which is defined as peribronchiolar fibrosis of membranous and respiratory bronchioles. That can be infection, chronic rejection and transplant, connective tissue disease, inhalational lung disease, hypersensitivity pneumonitis, diffuse idiopathic pulmonary neoendocrine cell hyperplasia. Second is cellular bronchiolitis, which manifests as treen bud nodules and mosaic attenuation. This can be infection, aspiration, respiratory bronchiolitis, follicular bronchiolitis, or pain bronchiolitis. Asthma, interstitial lung disease, and endoluminal foreign body or neoplasm can also cause air trapping. On the left, we see a composite image showing inspiratory and expiratory uh, views. This patient had constrictive bronchiolitis and shows subtle mosaic attenuation on inspiration and frank air trapping on expiration. Here's a patient with asthma. Note the areas of air trapping. In this patient with hypersensitivity pneumonitis, there are multiple foci of hyperlucent lung due to expiratory air trapping. Areas of air trapping may be accentuated by surrounding normal lung and ground glass opacity foci. Lastly, here's an axial CT of someone with a centrally partially obstructing carcinoid tumor. There is hyperlucency of the visualized left lower lobe due to obstruction by the tumor and resulting air trapping. You now know a ton about air trapping. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.